killer. Alright, I just wanted to get this off in the beginning of the video before I actually get into the actual review of the episode. <clears throat> the review of the episode, and that is that I have a really sore throat right now. I'm not feeling sick or anything, but I do have a sore throat. Maybe I should make another video talking about why or how I got a sore throat, but I probably won't. I'm just going to mention it in this video. I have a really sore throat, so if I sound different throughout this entire video, you know why. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to point that in the beginning of the video before we actually get into forward to episode 28. And uh, uh, I was actually, I was actually pretty surprised at how well this episode was. Uh, let's get into the review, by the way. I was actually really surprised at how well this episode was. Uh, it actually felt like there was some sort of conflict that we should be uh, scared of a little bit. Uh, the, the, the the writing and the scripting for this episode was really good. Uh, Boruto actually sur uh, surprisingly impressed me uh, with a jutsu that he showed off in the episode, which is really cool. And uh, not only that, but we also do get to see um, the, the Seven Ninja Swordsman of the Mist. And when I say we, we get to see the Seven Ninja Swordsman of the Mist, I mean, like, no, we actually did get to see him, the new Seven Swordsman. We already knew that Kagura was supposed to be one of the new Seven Ninja Swordsmen, and then now we see the rest of them. Uh, most of them, I don't ro really bother remembering their names besides Kagura and Shizuma. Shizuma, uh, Shizuma I didn't know what his name was uh, in last week's episode and a couple weeks before when we did see him. Uh, either just because I didn't remember or I didn't know or because I just didn't want to try to butcher his fucking name <laughs> but we we do see him again in this episode he's actually one of the main antagonists of I guess this quote mini arc slash arc of the whole uh, mist village and stuff like that he's, he's going to be one of the main antagonists now because of course he's going to be a part of the seven ninja swordsmen who are some of the most powerful shinobi in all of the hidden mist village so it is very interesting that we have someone who also belongs to the hoshigaki because as you know kisame hoshigaki was a part of the akatsuki and the akatsuki were consisted of some of the strongest shinobi in all the different villages and stuff like that so anyways the episode starts off kagura is talking to chojuro the mizukage uh, he gets one of the seven swords, uh, swords seven, leg seven legendary swords that belong to the seven swordsmen of the mist, which is also Kagura's uh, uh, seven, uh, seven legendary swords. And then later on, they go to an academy training area, and then Boruto shows up there and starts talking to Kagura. And Kagura was basically saying, I wanted you to be the first person to see this, yada yada yada. Uh, Etc. Stuff happens, and then Shizuma shows up. Shizuma shows up, and basically the whole meat and the plot of this episode is straight up just Shizuma is trying to convince Kagura to side with the Seven Ninja Swordsmen finally, so they can actually kill the son of the Hokage, which is Boruto, and then basically start a war between the Hidden Mist and the Hidden Leaf. Which, if you really think about it for a second, for a conflict is actually really smart and a good way to try to do it because you know Naruto overall is a very peaceful person and doesn't want to start a war but if they were to kill the son of the Hokage in the Mist Village and they actually do plan on replacing Chojuro the current Mizukage with I guess one of the seven ninja swordsmen which is maybe if they if they do do that it would be Kagura so obviously they they would have Kagura, who's one of the seven ninja swordsmen in the mist, and then he would then become the Mizukage. He, they would have killed Boruto inside the mist village, and then after that point, Naruto would have no other point besides to start a war in between the two nations of um, of fire and water, and the two villages between the leaf and the mist. And like I said, we do see the seven ninja swordsmen. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to point out is the entire time when Kagura and Shizuma are talking to each other, uh, she, uh, Kagura is acting kind of like anticlimactic about a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Shizuma is starting to mention the whole bunch of stuff that happened 
uh, during his academy days and stuff like that, and he's like breathing really hard. He's like, <laughs> and then I'm just like, bro, I'm like, relax. I'm like, you need to fucking chill out. It's not that big of a deal. He's like fucking shaking in his fucking place. He falls to the ground. It's really weird. It, it, it could have been different, but it's whatever. So, uh, bored. So you know, being bored. So he decides to try to help Kagura. He uh, shows off his capability being able to use uh, lightning style ninjutsu or lightning release jutsu and we'll get into more about him being able to use uh, lightning release jutsu later on because that has to involve with one of the new jutsu or one of the new jutsu that he actually showed off in the episode it's called Boruto stream I believe it's a combination between wind style and lightning style wind style to push him forward to make him like stupidly fast for right now being a fucking academy student which is kind of ridiculous and in uh, lightning style for a little bit extra oomph and power at least that's what I'm assuming so this is this is actually a really cool jutsu uh, shown by board so it really surprised me when I watched it because I was like oh shit like I guess someone's finally getting fucking serious I was wondering when we were gonna get to that fucking point so, anyways, Boruto, with his Boruto stream, blitzes all these motherfuckers and goes all the way to Shizuma, and Shizuma is just like, nope, and just deflects the attack uh, with um, uh, what is what is a jutsu that he shot off called Water Forge Jutsu, and you know he basically just kind of deflected back, defle deflected back Boruto with his own attack, which was really cool. There, there was there was actually some really cool fighting in this episode even though there was really only very little bit of it but even after all that Boruto can't move anymore and then uh, to, to give off the, the motive of why Shizuma is wanting to do stuff like this is because uh, I guess uh, Chojuro decided to basically he's doing what he's trying to do which is basically bring back the Mist Village to a place of good and that isn't bad so what he's been doing in the meantime kind of like in the background of, of, of areas is he's basically eliminating all sorts of different reminiscence of people and their families who were in the past that gave off the name for the Blood Mist Village or gave off a bad name for the Mist Village itself uh, so Kagura's pl uh, clan um, you know, he, because he's the grandson of the fourth Mizukage, and then the fourth Mizukage uh, had, you know, basically given the, the the Mist Village's name for of Blood Mist Village for a reason. And then there was also Kisame Hoshigaki, who was one of the seven ninja swordsmen who went rogue, and then joined the Akatsuki, and was well known all over the different nations of the world as a rogue, powerful ninja, and one of the members of the Akatsuki. So, you know, Chojuro, he's trying to basically get rid of all of that, and so because Shizuma is, of course, a Hoshigaki, you know, he kind of just wants to get revenge and payback on that and stuff like that, which is a pretty decent motive, I would want to say. Uh, at least I think so. So, the episode continues off. Kagura agrees to, you know, go with Shizuma, and one of the... One of the uh, seven swordsman guys is going over to try to rush to go to Shizuma's aid, but Shizuma's like, no, uh, with with Kagura being how he is right now, we might as well just listen to what he has to say because the the me the message and the motive that they were trying to give around with Kagura in this episode is that he is a very powerful swordsman. He's one of the most he's probably the most powerful swordsman besides maybe the Mizukage Chojuro in all of the village and he could solo all of these guys in this room who are supposed to be the new seven swordsmen by himself so in a state of place where he if he decides to side with Boruto you know and they go and attack him he'll defend Boruto and then basically just just he'll fucking solo them which I think sounds fucking insane but also at the same time really cool so Shizuma decides to, you know, go by the terms of Kagura and decides to not the attack uh, Boruto right now. He spares his life and then Kagura leaves with Shizuma to where the rest of the seven legendary swords are, uh, like Kiba, Executioner's Blade, uh, stuff like that. 
And Kiba is like the double lightning fangs that that one member uh, who was revived with Edo Tensei. That's what they're called. I'm not talking about the character. That's literally what they're called because they're. I, I forget what the actual translation of the name is, but I know they're. It, they're like called Kiba in like Japanese or whatever. So, anyways, uh, Kagura leaves with Shizuma. After that, Boruto kind of blacks out. Uh, we see Sarada actually healing him up and from his wounds and stuff like that. And the guy that we actually saw from the end of last week's episode, who has fucking throat slit, is alive. Which I saw, and I didn't really like that all too much because I thought that was a great scene. And then they kind of just, you know, threw it away and then really didn't do anything much with it afterwards. Which really bummed me out, so... Basically, this episode ends off with Boruto, Sarada, I guess this guy whose name is irrelevant, and then um, uh, potentially Mitsuki because he's, <coughs> excuse me, because he's right there where the other seven swordsmen are collecting the seven legendary swords, and potentially Zogetsu because Zogetsu was actually in the episode, and you see him in like the early beginning of the episode, and I was like, wait a minute, is that, is that? Motherfucker, is that is it that motherfucker? And then all was like, oh yeah, it was. And then you see him again in the end, in the ending of the episode, which uh, surprised me. Maybe he's trying to get back the Executioner's Blade because he doesn't currently have it. But I feel like he would probably have some sort of like replica for the Executioner's Blade uh, that Orochimaru maybe potentially made for him to you know coincide with his, with his combat style potentially. So, that's pretty much the ending of the episode. Overall, art style animation was, was very good. Uh, writing and narrative was very, very good. Uh, Boruto was actually, you know, s seemed impressive to me, which is awesome. It, it's awesome. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap up the video here. There's really pretty, there's really nothing else from, that I need to talk about right now other than the fact that I don't know how long it's gonna take for uh, my my throat to heal pro properly, so that I can you know speak without you know my throat hurting as much as it kind of is now for talking for so long. But if you guys did enjoy watching me struggle to go through this commentary and talking about Boruto of episode 28, uh, be sure to drop a like and be sure to also subscribe to the channel because at the time of me recording. We are at 99 subscribers, almost at 100, and I uh, would like to, you know, kind of be enthusiastic about it, but considering the fact that I can't really do that at the moment, I'm going to have to just result with the fact that I want you guys to please, please subscribe if you do watch this video and you are brand new, and if you are brand new and like my content, maybe consider sharing it around with your friends and stuff like that, I would really appreciate that. Anyways... Uh, this is the end of the video. Drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day.